going to be doing another dollar store slash 99 cent store haul. That's right, I went to both of the stores. And what did I do with all the pennies that I saved at the 99 cent store? I turned them into a dime and I stuck them up your dick. Also, I've decided that from now on I would officially like to only be referred to as Drew Monson, King of the Halls. By everyone, by my grandpa, by your grandpa, mostly by your grandpa. Also, I'm not wearing my glasses right now. Why, you ask? Because the lamps I used to light my videos were reflecting and it was annoying me. Do you like it better? As always, comment down below on my appearance. Anyway, let's do it. I think I spent $70 today. A lot of this stuff was $1.99, including one of the best things I've ever purchased, the Trendy Girl Beauty Set. When I was at the store, there was an old lady next to me, and we were both, like, looking at this, and she goes, well, you better get that. And I said, what do you mean? She says, well, you are a trendy little girl. And I said, Linda... You know, you're never this bad. What are you talking about? By the way, I'm just reading it right now. The back of the Trendy Girl Beauty set does not make any sense. I think it was like translated from another language by a computer into English. All styles are wonderful. By the way, not true fedoras. All new, modernism, fashion of the century, simulating the true styles and making carefully. I mean, Trendy Girl say what? All right, I'm gonna open it right now. This better simulate my true styles and be making carefully. I like that there's just a little apple in here. Snacks are an important part of fashion that a lot of people forget about. I think this is a brush. This cannot be for a human. This is a horse brush for sure. This is for a fucking pony. There's also this, it just says sweet. You can like push it at people when they ask questions like how your pussy tastes. You just go, hello, sir. I think this is a purse, but I'm thinking about it right now. The Trendy Girl Beauty set doesn't say anything about it being for like a doll or something. So this is only for like shrunk humans. Like, no one could actually carry this around unless they were 10 inches tall. This purse is a little bigger. Speaking of vaginas, by the way, Jesus Christ, a fucking silver pearl necklace hanging off the side. That's what I call a trendy girl. These are hair extensions. As a lot of you guys know, I've always wanted to, like, delve into the hair extension world, but always been, like, super, super nervous. But today I woke up, and I know people say this a lot, but I was really, like, feeling myself. So I got these. They're lime green, as you do. And I guess you just kind of become who you've always wanted to to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's what a human looks like. This is gonna sound so dumb, but I've honestly never felt so much like a beautiful butterfly. Ooh, speaking of fashion, by the way, we all know teens love disco balls. They Pinterest them, they MySpace them, they are all the rage. And that's why I really love how this hat kind of recreates the feel of that popular disco ball and turns it into just a nice little hippie hat. So why not take off your armadillo hat and whip this baby on? Your lime green extensions may fall off in the process, but you will realize that it's all worth it. I love that. I love that I look like Christina Aguilera. One sec, my mom's calling me. Hello, Ma. Yeah, I know, Chrissy Agu. I look just like her. Thank you. Bye. Moms can't live with a moms. Can't live without a moms. Living for their compliments. Oh, this is another trendy thing. I know all the kids are talking about Frozen. This is three Frozen hanging decorations. I don't know who these fuckers are. I still haven't seen the movie, but there's no way they're that interesting. Unless they're actual time travelers and have robot asses, who gives a shit? I could actually just use these as earrings. I just don't want them to like take away from the message of my video. That's like the number one thing I've learned in fashion is that you don't want like things like your frozen earrings to like distract and speak louder than your own personal truth. Oh, also, this is one of the best things I've ever found. I found this in the toy section of the 99 cent store. I swear to God, this was the exact condition that it was in. She is fucking cut in half and her tit is out. This is so scary. Like this is either going to be traumatic and terrifying for a big mermaid fan or like inspiring in the wrong way, which he's like, mommy, I want to be like her. Cut, pop. I want to be just like Ariel. <laughs> that was me cutting myself in half and popping a fucking titty. Oh, also, I don't do drugs or smoke and I've never done drugs, but this was in the kids section and it says horn on it, but this is 100% a marijuana bong. This is totally the thing that the cool kids at school that didn't talk to me smoked smelly smoke out of. Also, it says horn play on it. <laughs> None of the holes make a horn noise. It's really not helping its case. This says happy party on it. I assume it's for like a birthday party. Pom-poms. These are pom-poms. Imagine going to someone's fifth birthday party and they're like Viking and mom just throws these on here, kids. Pom-poms. You like those, right? Have fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Gardner. <laughs> 
This is great. Oh, by the way, I found this Camp Rock sticker activity book. That's right, fucking Camp Rock. So if you ever find a time machine and you want to give yourself an amazing birthday present in 2007, check this shit out. And I will now add these stickers to my daily fashion, Kevin Joni, on my titty titty, as I've always wanted. I don't know who this girl is, but I'm going to assume that she deserves my little lefty. Now these are some Disney Channel original movie breasts. This is a Lady Gaga toothbrush, I guess, but I looked at it and there's no way this is Lady Gaga. Like, that's someone I was waiting in line with at the 99 cent store. Her name is Tara, and she's 70 pounds and 5 foot 11. Um, this is 8 feet of fucking ribbon. That's a lot more than you expected, isn't it? Now watch me play with it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Warheads. I was thinking about Warheads when I got these. I was like, okay, everyone likes Warheads, right? Like, they're kind of fun. Like, they hurt your body. But, like, if Warheads are your favorite candy ever, like, if you ever met the kid who's like, Warheads, those are my favorites. Like, back away from that creepy fucker. That's like the kid at school who's, like, always talking about how his dad has a gun. This is for a dog. It's supposed to be, like, a little chew toy that looks like a camera. I thought it'd be kind of a cool way to, like, pick up women. Be like, hey, selfie at the bar. Ha ha ha. Oops. What's your, what is your phone number, by the way? I didn't, I forgot to ask. Oh, also I found this like photo frame and it had like the example picture in it and I was thinking about it for some reason. I was like, okay, this is like modeling, right? Like they got paid for this, it's on a product, but like modeling, you think of like a fucking backdrop and fucking wind blowing through your hair with a huge fan or something. But this is just like a picture at the park that your mom took of you and your friend with her Nikon cool pics and was like, let me get one in front of the tree. But like, did they get paid? Brittany, Tiffany, contact me, I wanna talk cash baby. This is a little hand puppet for the bath that could say things like, hey buddy, your penis will never be this clean again, so you better enjoy it. Have you noticed that when you're in the bathtub, it's like the most you'll ever see your genitals up close? It's like the bath water is like glasses for like, I wish you could see your butthole. Like you can't really turn yourself around, but like still like an owl and like look at it. You know what I mean? So I guess that's what this is for. These are actually pacifiers. I haven't sucked on one of these since I was like 11 years old, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to like try it again. I got a two pack in case I get like really excited and eat one of them. So here we go. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is a dream. I found one of these. I kind of forgot about these. These were like snap bracelets. I realized how aggressive they are. Like they really fuck with you. Like no one's ever been this mean to me. This is called a baby giant gift sack. So I guess you like get pregnant, you pop out a baby, you put it in this gift sack, you walk over to the father's house, you ring that old diggity doorbell. You're like, hello, sir, surprise. May I please have minimum $25,000? This is a little box of fun erasers. I thought this was kind of funny because like, I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> like, um, I had my kids taken away from me. I shaved my entire body the other night. Left the hair on my ex-wife's car. This is baby teething gel. I thought it'd be kind of funny to buy this because I'm already buying all this fucking creepy shit. And just to add this in, like the cashier would just be like, oh fuck, he's got a baby? Like holy shit, the Warheads fan slash Lady Gaga toothbrush holder made a child? Fuck. This is a light up braid. If you guys want tips on being cool, you guys ask me a lot. You know that I am. If you want to be the coolest kid in middle school, you walk into fucking chemistry with a light up braid, they'll name a goddamn element after you. Oh, this is like a teacher, like inspirational poster that you're supposed to like put up in your algebra one class. I read it and I thought it would be more useful as like a passive aggressive giant note to leave on your ex's lawn. Okay, like read this. Like imagine just like leaving this on your terrible ex lover's porch. Responsibility, doing what you are expected to do, being dependable, and keeping your promises, fucking Jake. Oh, this is also one of the best things I've ever bought. This is a Lizzie McGuire fucking hat. It's got the creepy little fucker that used to follow her around, like the small version of herself, which looking back, like it didn't used to seem weird, but like Lizzie was having auditory and visual hallucinations. Like she wasn't okay. Oh, this is a terrifying thing to give to a child. This is a toy version of an M16 assault rifle. You play with it, it's, it just honestly sounds like a car. Like, hey kids, police brutality. It's just like driving. And as long as I'm making a mess, this is called fatter splatter. I don't know what it is, but it looks like little weird like tamale shrimps or something. But let's see what happens when I ball the trigger. Oh. 
I like it. All right, Kevin Jonas, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my videos down there in the link in the description and have fun, have a nice day. And as I always say to you, leave me a fucking comment. I'm very lonely. It's a kid shirt for like a little girl. I'm a princess, right? Fair enough. Mommy's a queen, true. And daddy's around here somewhere.